Hey guys, it's Cameron here. Today is Monday, January 9th. Got gaming news for you guys today. Let's go ahead and get started. Seems like the Call of Duty Elite mobile app will be launching tomorrow on iOS and next week on Android. Since this video is being posted quite a bit late, it's 11.40 p.m., about to be a.m., um, about time you watch this video, it should already be out on iOS. But moving on from that, seems like Linehead Studios is hiring for a unannounced and triple a title so i'm not sure if they're trying to say unannounced triple a title or an unannounced title and a triple a title i don't know what they're trying to say but i just say unannounced triple a title but sounds pretty cool uh for the fans of Lionhead studios that like their games like fable and yeah stuff like that but moving on from that um you guys may have heard of, if you guys are xbox fans you might have heard of something called uh, Xbox Live House Party, which is a month where they release various games. Um, they do it every year. It's kind of like summer arcade, except you know, I think just just uh, spring or whatever. But they said it's at the end of February, so um, I don't know. Just a random promotion, I should say. But the games that are going to be included in this promotion are going to be Alan Wake, American Nightmare, Warp. Netsis, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but Netsis or something like that. And I am alive. I am interested in um, Alan Wake American Nightmare and I am alive, so it's pretty cool. But there is a promotional video showing off um, a montage of all the titles, so you could go check that out on YouTube or IGN, whatever. So, yeah. But moving on from that, European retailers hint a 2013 release, a March 2013 release for Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, honestly, I don't really see this game coming out this year. I could be wrong, but I mean, honestly, I mean, 2013 kind of seems like a fit date in a way, but we'll just have to wait and see how, I mean, if this game was to come out this year, it'd probably be at the very end, of course, but um, a lot of people probably expect October, November, but it might very well be a 2013 release, but this have to wait and see. But moving on from that, a leaked image of uh, the Aliens Colonial Marines Collector's Edition has been outed. Um, it says in this uh, article that it includes a figurine Intel dossier, or whatever how you pronounce that, Intel dossier, something like that. Um, three we uh, three multiplayer weapons in a new game mode. So, yeah, sounds pretty cool. Moving on from that. The Mortal Kombat Complete Edition has been announced for consoles, and it will be out in North America February 28th. Now, this includes 15 classic skins, 3 classic fatalities for Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Reptile, and this will be out for PS3 and 360. Uh, not sure of the price, though, honestly. Um, yeah, not sure of the price. Sorry about that. And another thing I'm not sure uh, that I can't tell you guys about because I don't know all the characters it will also feature all the DLC characters and they only have uh, Freddy Krueger right here which I already know in my head for sure but um, I forgot the um, other characters but there's like four other characters I think but yeah if you know all the DLC characters that are downloadable for Mortal Kombat they will be contained in the complete edition I'm not sure if that's gonna be on disc or all da downloadable voucher but most likely on disc but moving on from that, Capcom hints a Street Fighter cross Tekken surprise this Friday. In a Twitter post, it says that they'll be preparing for a Capcom Unity uh, stream for Street Fighter cross Tekken on January 13th. And they will have a new feature to show off for the game. So, sounds pretty awesome. Moving on from that, um, there's an article saying that PS3 and Xbox 360 successors will be primarily disc-based. Now, you guys probably heard about this a while ago but a lot of uh, I guess developers say that the future is um, download base you know kind of what we're fading into now what PSP Go was trying to do but failed miserably but um, uh, I was I kind of just want to go digital so we can stop messing around with um, you know developers being mad about used copies and stuff I mean it's kind of getting ridiculous with the disc. Um, I don't know. It's really whatever. Disc space is probably the for the best, but I think they do need to try to evolve more into digital base. Um, make it worth it. Like add more content than disc base. But I don't know what they need to do. I'll let them figure that out. But we're gonna move on to the next article. Um, apparently, the rumor uh, about Kaz Harai, um 
being promoted to Sony president was just a rumor. Sony has shot that rumor down. Don't know what that was all about, but um, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. But yeah, but moving on from that, the Uncharted series was uh, a point of inspiration for Bioshock Infinite, which is pretty cool. Moving on from that, as you guys may or may not know, Amy, uh, well, Amy was supposed to be releasing this week. It still will be releasing this week for Xbox 360, but for PlayStation Network, it will be delayed till January 10th, so they could drop the price down to $10 instead of the uh, $3 more than it was for Xbox. Um, apparently, it was $13 on PlayStation Network if it was going to release today slash tomorrow i don't know whenever you're watching um today i should say since it's about to be midnight anyway but um it'll be going from 13 dollars to 10 dollars and that causes the delay to january 17th so yeah and this is just for north america from what i see here so uh pretty cool i guess but moving on from that silent hill hd collection has been delayed till march and it has been confirmed by Konami themselves so if you have been waiting for this game delayed so I guess that kind of sucks but moving on from that Twisted Metal will be releasing in Europe February 17th and as you guys may or may not know will be releasing in the US February 14th and um, European fans will also be getting the same offer US fans are getting a free voucher to download Twisted Metal Black, which is a Twisted Metal game that was on the PS2 back in 2001. So that is pretty cool. But moving on from that, yesterday uh, in my gaming news, I talked about a rumored screenshot of possibly PS3 getting a new video editor. And it has been officially announced today at CES. CES did start today, so it's pretty cool. I'll probably have more um, gaming related topics throughout the week as CES goes on but seems like the video editor is going to be called Play Memory Studio so that is pretty cool um, there from this article it does not have a release date but hopefully it does get released pretty soon hopefully it's friendly with different files they're saying like this is most mostly for um, home videos but can't really say until I actually get my hands on it or they can get more detail into it but moving on from that, it has been said at CES that 500,000 PlayStation Vitas have sold. I guess that's pretty good. I don't know what's good in sell, sales numbers as far as consoles, portables, or games. I don't really look into sell numbers, but I'm going to assume that's okay since I hear a lot of articles talking about how it's not doing good in Japan as far as sales go. But hopefully it does good everywhere else but moving on from that it has been said that music unlimited will be available day one on playstation vita awesome and um yeah and the thing about music unlimited if you own a 3g model of the system and you pay for music unlimited and of course your 3g service for your vita you could just it'd be like internet radio uh, of course like uh pandora your poor preferred um internet radio on your smartphone if you listen to music through a app um you know an app where you know it streams music like radio the um, music unlimited is going to be that for vita so that's pretty awesome um i probably will start um paying for music unlimited just try it out on vita for a month probably just for that month i'm probably not going to be like i'm going to use this every day but pretty awesome news for it to be a launch software for US uh, and I guess Europe too. Uh, I'm not sure, but yeah, but um, another CES news for Vita. It seems like Netflix will be um, On Vita at launch too. now in various articles. I seen about Netflix being a launch software for Vita it, it, Most of them say that they're gonna try to work hard or they're gonna try to make it happen like they're not po um, For sure that's gonna be a launch now um my thing is, you know, to Sony, I think they need to take their time. And they say, like, they're going to try, like, they're going to just, you know, seem like they're, like, going to try to rush it. It's like, uh, I don't want you guys to rush it. I don't need you guys messing up Netflix because I've been using Netflix quite a bit now on my uh, phone, 3DS, PS3, and I love Netflix. And I would hate for them to somehow mess it up on Vita or whatever. But hopefully it does turn out good and hopefully it does make its um, 
launch date, um, same day as the Vita. I was hoping the Febru February 15th, which is the date of the first edition Vita, but it seems like it's going to be the February 22nd release date where all the other Vitas will be released, which is okay. But last news I got for you guys today, um, a lot of websites did confirm the PlayStation Vita's 3G um, price plans. Um, a lot. Uh, this was somewhat confirmed, like about a week or two ago. I talked about it, but I'll go over it with it uh, with you guys again with it, just in case you didn't catch that gaming news or just don't know about it or whatever. But um, it says here it'll be a month-to-month -month plan type thing. So I guess like it will charge you every month, depending on the plan that you choose. It will be forty nine nine for the two hundred fifty megabytes um, cap and 25 bucks for the two gigabyte which is the one i will be getting and no contract will not be required which is pretty cool and you also have access to uh 29 uh thousand at&t wi-fi hotspots and that's pretty cool but one thing that they do mention at the end that uh gets me excited because i don't have to go to an at&t store to activate the vita at least that's what it makes it seem like here and another thing i'll just read the whole um paragraph i should say vita players will be able to activate the 3g plan um 3g data plans directly from their 3g vitas kind of sounds like you don't have to go anywhere to activate 3g which is pretty awesome so most likely it will be including the sims cards i'm guessing um i kind of want to look up japanese unboxings i have seen unboxings but i guess i haven't seen a 3g bot unboxing um if they do include a, um sims cards then i would expect that f for that here but anyway moving down towards um more into the article once the data plan is activated Vated, players will be eligible to choose one free downloadable uh, download from a list of select games available on the PlayStation th Store. The list of the free games was not revealed, so probably wait till closer release date to get that list. But hopefully, it's a good list. Um, I kind of doubt it will be, but as long as I you could get Super Stardust Delta, I'm fine with that. I still need the, the release date for that game. I'm like kind of, I mean, not release date on um, price because I'm curious, but hopefully they have like full Vita games on there. But um, that's pretty awesome. So yeah, but that's actually all the game news I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, Thanks for the support. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments or you can probably message me and please leave me feedback so I can make my videos better because I honestly think I suck, but um, I enjoy doing gaming news. So I'm starting to get more views now. I think it's because I'm doing tags because I do tags every video. I'm trying not to be lazy with the tags and description, but um, I do what I can. Um, but like I said, that's all for this gaming news. Hope you guys enjoyed once again, and yeah, I'll chat with you guys later. Peace.